Here is Sean from One Min A Day. Recently had a vasectomy. <laughs> That's good sinking, man. <laughs> Sean, tell her, how old are you? I'm 28 years old. 28. That's pretty young to get a vasectomy. How many kids have you got? I think there's a, I have zero kids. Zero kids. There's a lot of stigma for young guys getting vasectomies before they have kids, yeah. Mm. I remember I had to tell the surgeon I was a heroin addict and I was gay. <laughs> and then I asked him if he had a teenage daughter, <laughs> literally, and he was like, all right, this to get it done. Yeah. My so, guy just asked me, you sure you don't want to have kids? Yep. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Not there's anything with being gay either, but uh, that's what I told my doctor, my surgeon at the time. Uh, so he would do it. So that, that was pretty easy for you? Very easy. I mean, I was, for me it was 2005, so things have changed in the last nine, ten years. Yeah, it was very, very easy. I went to a guy called Dr. Snip. Dr. Snip. In Australia. And uh, it's covered by insurance in Australia, if you're here. But it's uh, no scalpel, no stitch surgery. Wow. In and out, local anesthetic, uh, painless. All I took was two ibuprofen that day, no other painkiller, and uh, very seamless recovery. Yeah. So local anesthetic means they just inject this. Let's say you're going to have surgery in your hand, they just put a needle here so they knew that part of your hand's numb. General anesthetic is when your whole knocked out. I don't really recommend that because that's pretty full on the body, especially for a small surgery like a vasectomy. You don't really need a general. Uh, for heart surgery, open heart surgery, general, I'm assuming, would be a good idea. But for the vasectomy, I only recommend the local. That's what most surgeons recommend as well. Yeah. Unless you're a real wuss bag. But if you're watching this channel, you're not a wuss bag. You're pretty hardcore. So it was a local anesthetic, so you feel like a pinch for like five seconds. Yeah. Otherwise, totally pain free. All you feel is like movement and pressure. And uh, how, how, how long did that take, the vasectomy? I was in and out in 15 minutes. 15 minutes, man. Yeah. Look up Dr. Snip in Australia. The same thing in America, same thing everywhere. The technology. No scalpel, no stitches. Was it like an operating out. room or? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just like a, a bed, you lay down in the bed, in and out. Wow, yeah. that's pretty cool. And cute, cute nurse. Cute nurse, yes. and crack a boner. <laughs> what, um, that's really cool. But, so, I heard this, this guy doesn't age discriminate. I think on the website I said, we don't, we don't age discriminate. Right. Could be wrong, but 28, that's a, I, what, Jamie, he's coming up, we're doing another interview with Jamie. He's 21, simply vegan. He had a vasectomy as well, so. Stay tuned, we'll do an interview with Jamie. Anything else you want to add for guys who are a bit, a bit doubtful? I just think that I want to see more people deciding what they want to do. So if you want to have kids, decide to have kids. Don't have kids on accident. And if you decide that you don't want to have kids, then take the appropriate measures to make sure that that's the future that you create. So make a decision, stick to it. Yeah, we need some people to have kids, but we also, it's good to have people that decide not to have kids too. And I was one of those people. And uh, vasectomy was the best option for me. Because I guess, how many orphans we've got in the world now? Over 100 million. Over 100 million orphans. And one in 10 children worldwide. So maybe, just maybe, in 2015 we've got enough kids. Yeah. If you already got kids, you're meant to have them. But think about sterilizing yourself from today on. Yeah, adopt, you know. Foster parent, to go. mentor, whatever. Yeah, for sure. But look, if you've got kids or you've had kids, fine. That's what's meant to happen. But from today on, let's take some action. Let's help the world. 100 million orphans out there. Not to mention all the starving kids dying every day. Yeah, man. There's just limited resources going around. And, you know, in nature, animals reproduce when there's abundant resources. But we just don't have that luxury as humans right now. Mm. You know, let's do the best we can with the people who are already here. And, uh, yeah, move forward from there. Powerful, man. Thanks, yeah. Sean. Yeah. Check out Sean's channel, One Minute a Day. I'll post the link down below. And uh, Dr. Snip. Dr. Snip. A shout out to Dr. Snip. Yeah. One minute a day, one minute a day.